so in this demo we are going to see how to process a pointer variable it means we are going to take the address of a pointer variable and through that address we are going to access the data so suppose we have a data like this int a equal 5 now the address of a i am going to take it and i am going to store in a variable called p then what must be the type of p it must be a pointer variable and since it is pointing to an integer it must be integer pointer variable got it now through p how will you access a through the pointer variable p we can access a for that we can say that c out if i put p alone what will be the output p means we will get the address so we have to say the value at address of a so p contains address of a yet to get the value at that address put asterisk and we can cross check it what's out we can see that we are getting the getting the expected out, get expected output fine now i am going to take the address of p like this take the address of pointer variable anyhow address should be stored in a variable and again that should be a pointer got it any address to be stored it must be a pointer variable but here we have to say that since p is pointing to a pointer variable here the q should be prefixed by two asterisk the reason is look at the line number 7 we have a pointer variable p it is pointing to some data but the q is pointing to a pointer variable that points to another data so two chains we can see two links we can see in the case of p directly pointing to one data so one asterisk in the case of q indirectly it is pointing to a through which variable an intermediate pointer variable called p so two links are come p to q sorry q to p and p to a so it must be prefixed by two pointer that is two asterisk then we have to say that what type of it is so integer because q is a integer pointer variable so it must be integer now through q how will you access if i put directly q it will give address of p right now if i say that c out one asterisk at then q so we can say that the value at address of p so what will be the outcome address of a it gives address of a are you able to follow address of the variable a now if we put one more asterisk now we can expand it very easily and then so how will you read value at that is the for the first asterisk for the second asterisk we will say that again value at q contain what does q contain address of p right this is the expansion of that expression value at value at address of p so adder, your first go inside value at address of p what is that it gives address of a then value at address of a it gives the value 5 the value at address of it see that first we are taking address of p address of p is stored in q right that is why see this q is expanded as address of p 
then first asterisk see this highlighted one for that value at address of p it means what p is holding isn't it p is holding the address of a now expand value at address of a so i am expanding like this value at so the internal one value at address of p means what p is holding p holds address of a that's a value at address of p it means you are going to the address of p and what p is holding that is called value at it contains the address of a now value at address of a you will get the value of a it gives value of value which is stored in this stored in memory which is identified by the variable a hope that you are able to follow now we can check the output we can see that the 5 is come all of you understood it is called pointer to pointer and again we can say that we can store the address of q in some another pointer variable then what must be the type of variable a pointer variable which is prefixed by three asterisk that also i'll show you you want to take the address of q which is a pointer to pointer and now again it should be stored by some variable let it be x then it must be an integer pointer to pointer to point so n number of pointers we can link like this so if you want to store the address of x then four time four times we have to put asterisk is it clear now through x how will you access the value q sorry through x how will you reach out to 5 we can say that c out star star x it gives the value 5 we can check it we are getting the expect, expected output so this is the illustration for pointer to pointer so the q is pointer to pointer x is pointer to pointer to pointer based on the number of asterisk hope that all of you understood thank you stop it now